five minutes. Your awareness may be powerful enough to control your instincts. Your instinct will be to remove your hand from the box. It's your girl Mish, and welcome to another episode of the Love Mish Podcast. that I was supposed to release um, with another one, but the clips just kind of didn't add up, so I'm just going to do it separately. I'm kind of going through my podcast and clearing everything out. My sh- I, have th- I think I have three chakras in here, heart, third eye, and crown that I need to get out. And then I'm going to do the um, women's podcast that I was telling you guys about. So I'm just going through the drafts and making sure they're ready to be pushed out so that I can um, start working on the new episodes about the things that I'm learning now, more about extraterrestrial species, um, our different gifts and um, talents that we are not tapping into, um, such as astral travel, which I do every night now telepathy which is so crazy I literally was thinking about my best friend the other day and she texted me at the same time I then thought about my sister and she texted me at the same time you have to practice this shit and it will get better I swear whatever gifts you have you're using them randomly you don't even know that you're doing doing it but when you start practicing you will be able to do it at will and you will start to amaze yourself and just imagine all the different opportunities that will open because of your gift that are not teaching you in school, church, or anywhere else. You just have to sit down with self, open your mind, allow the information to come to you without fear or doubt, and to just use it. You know? Um, this music in the background is coming from YouTube. I actually revamped I think I'm going to put all my YouTubes back up on my link tree because each one has a different category and I don't want to mix them up. Like I have my tea booths for the kids. I don't want them to see what I put on Misha at night. I don't want Misha at night to interfere with my spirituality channel and I don't want my spiritual channel to interfere with just me and what I do on my own time, which has nothing to do, you know, with spirituality. It might be me singing. It might be me making a salad or something you know a smoothie herbs and stuff like I just have different pages that's literally how my mind is everything has to be in its place if it's not I'm gonna be chaotic until I do that um even with these podcasts and stuff I use OneNote I have so many folders on OneNote and I literally put one individual topic in its own folder and when I find different posts and pictures and stuff I have to put them where it belongs <laughs> <laughs> a real OCD like so yeah but this one is gonna be on my regular page it's called eight hours of lost the world that the world government hides from you and it's literally images but I just love the music um and it's images of big ass human beings they don't tell us that it's pictures of tiny ass people it's pictures of giant trees that look like mountains that they tell us are mountains, but they are trees. It shows you cities that are buried underground with mud. You can go Google this right now. If they get tired of a city or something, they'll bomb it and flood it with water. And now it's underwater. I wonder if that was the same thing that happened to Atlantis. Um, but yeah, I'm just learning about the stuff that they don't tell us. And that's what I eat, sleep, and breathe these days, I really have no interest in too much of anything else. Um, the stuff that I'm learning is just so alarming, y'all. Like, it 
if you aren't in a place to accept it, you probably will go crazy. Like the moon is capturing souls. When you die, it's capturing your soul to send your ass right back here. What? <laughs> what? And so if you don't prepare while you're here to not fall into that trap, you're going to come back. People are being hypnotized. Look this up too. And they can remember different lives that they've had over and over and over. How many movies have you seen with that story? It's not a movie. They're telling you the truth. We're just not listening. Um, and they can remember being with God. They can remember being in their mother's womb. They can remember being a tree, a leaf, a bug, an animal. They can remember being an alien. They can remember being humans time and time again. Different races, different cultures, different religions. I actually am going to sign up and do one as well. It's called Past Life Regression. And you can find several books about it. I mean, everything. Just, oh, wait. Look at my excitement. I'm taking mushrooms for the first time. I cannot wait. My sister did it. Her experience was amazing. Uh, you know, I've smoked weed. I've smoked weed before, and I like how it puts me in my head. Um, even though some people say I'm quiet, I'm literally like talking telepathically. I've noticed that when I when I smoke weed, I'm telepathically talking, and sometimes I don't even know that I'm not talking, but I'm talking. Um, one person was like, "You so quiet when you smoke." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> um, probably laugh more everything's probably amplified I, f- I do feel like I'm in my head like like my soul has left from my fingertips of my body to just a space in my head that's what, I guess that's why they call it I sometimes I be so high I can't even move my eyes is just stuck just sitting there so I mean that's an experience but when you take psychedelics man you start to see the world for what it really is so shout out to the weed heads but I need more. I need more than some weed. So I'm excited to uh, do mushrooms, take my trip. The next one I'm going to do is ayahuasca tea. And then I'm going to just keep going down the list. I am not scared of drugs. That's why they made that whole drug program, to keep you away from it. Because once your mind is open to that stuff, you can't forget it. You know, if you saw a tree talking to you, you can't forget that that fucking tree was talking to you. You will always, like, respect trees and probably say hey and stuff like you just you have to live life differently bro what what is that what was that it had an army so what it was an army soldier with like a pole his suit had a pole in it like that is big it was very long and they don't make armor like that what? I'm just so confused with that photo. But, um, so yeah, they made the whole drug program to keep you away from drugs that will keep you on this lower dimension. Everything is about dimension, y'all. Go as high as you can. Um, the sun is a portal. It's not hot at all. It's not hot, another lie. It is living light, which which is why, I don't know about y'all, but when I stand under the light, I feel energized. Like when I used to work downtown in corporate America, every break I needed to go outside just to get the sun. A concrete ass, dark ass building absorbing all my damn energy. I would go outside and just stand in the sun and I would just feel myself soaking it in. It's a, it's a lie. Light is a living energy, it, which is why trees grow and everything else, and which is why that shit, if the shit wasn't there, we wouldn't be here. Stuff they don't tell us that I'm excited about learning. And you know what? If I could go back, I wouldn't have went to school for business at all. I would have went to school for this. I didn't know there were metaphysical schools and whole metaphysical schools out there. Um, I would have loved to, to go to Tibetan and to the monasteries and experience with the monks and stuff. Like, usually people would hire income sources, I forgot what they call them, trust babies, they're the ones that do the psychedelics and they're traveling all, yeah, because they don't have to worry about work all the time, but our generation, we work, 
so that we can survive and we don't have time to explore those other avenues. Um, but the next clip that you're going to hear is... Uh, I agree with him. However, I'm thankful for the people in my life that they're just giving me space. They're giving me space to learn more about myself, my spirituality. You know, no one's mad or upset or anything from the best of my knowledge. And I just appreciate that. Um, whether they have taken a shot or not, um, no one's called me like, you need to go get the shot. And I'm making sure that I'm staying respectful and not, you know, they know I don't want them to get it, I'm sure. But I'm not blowing people up saying, don't get a shot, don't get a shot, you know, because I understand it's their free will and the chips will fall with their leg. There will be many, many deaths, many, many deaths for the next two, three, four, five years. Um, and it's going to be health related, whether you have the shot or not. It's all going to be about your health, which what backs up your health is your, um, your vibrations, which is connected to your spirituality. Um, how deep you're connected to source, whatever that might look like for you, and your mission. Because to be honest, if you low vibrating, you're not connected to source, you're not on your mission, perhaps you set yourself up to exit stage left. So I kind of agree with the things that he was saying, <clears throat> but I just hold space. I'm learning to hold space. Hold space for myself, hold space for everyone else, and just so emotional I absorb emotions but I'm learning to see the emotion but not absorb it because that sometimes I can't even handle it but just see it for what it is yeah they may be stealing kids and trafficking and stuff see it for what it is but those energies and that emotion it brings me down it does something to me so I'm learning to see but not necessarily be and I can choose to be when I want to be Oh, that looks like a portal. That is amazing. That's definitely a portal. Y'all check this out when y'all get a chance. Okay, but here come go the next clips. So check this out, y'all. So I want to say this real quick. And this video going to be pretty fast. I'm going to talk to you like I'm FaceTime you. I, I got a bro. I've been knowing him since I was in elementary school. Um... Kind of when I had my spiritual awakening in 2019, I kind of lost that vibe and like the connection I had with my bros that's not conscious because so much has been happening in this world. It just kind of, I kind of like elevated kind of, and it's like I'm on something completely different. But this bro, I knew him since elementary school. Today, I just found out he got a wedding coming up and he invited me and he called me. And he was talking to me, we was chopping it up. We was laughing and shit. I'm like proud of him, happy and shit. And he invited me to his wedding. It was all good. But at the end of the conversation, he told me in order for me to come, I'm going to need either this or a test, at least. Because he said his family is heavy about that shit. And he know about my vids. And I asked him, like, do you got He said, yes, he got the, right? So I'm like, I told him, like, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I want to come. But, like, if I have to do any of that, like, I'm not coming. His energy completely changed towards me. He looked at me like, nigga, I was fake as hell. He looked at me like, how you can tell me you're not coming to my, like, you're supposed to be my bro. Like, nigga, just take the test. The test, you stick the shit all the way up to your pineal, your third eye. You, they know what they're doing. And I just told him, like, bro, no disrespect. It ain't nothing towards you. It's not nothing towards your family. I'm just not doing that shit, bro. I'm not taking no time. I'm not doing none of it. He hung up on me. Called him black. I called him back. He blocked me. Um, I kind of felt bad. But at the end of the day, it's like, I went on Twitter and I was looking at the trending today and all the stuff that they got trending about, uh, they basically got the whole world turned, to, turned against us. The whole world is about to be under lockdown and they gonna paint the whole picture like it's our fault. You're going to start to lose family and friends, not dying. Some of y'all may have experienced some people in y'all family souls lead this matrix because the frequency and the vibration is changing. A lot of people is getting sick. A lot of people is under the vibration. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that was close to you, people you had a connection with will start to look at you as the enemy. 
When these people get under lockdown, when they in the house, when they melting in the house and they don't have nothing to do, they start to really get frustrated. They start to get irritated. A lot of people commit suicide. I don't know why they talking about that. Look that up right now. The suicide rate since the lockdowns and shit been happening. People have just been offing themselves. They cannot stay in the house. One thing that I'm starting to notice now, your friends, your family, especially y'all young ones, your own mom and your dad is under mind control. They read, they watch the news, they get all the information from the news. They gonna look at their own flesh and blood as the enemy if you don't get it. They gonna look at their own child as a fucking demon, as an enemy, if you don't get it. Your own friends, they gonna be able to go places. They gonna be able to still travel. They gonna be able to go in the restaurants. They gonna start building this. You gonna be different to them. What I'm trying to tell y'all, all that anger and hate that all the people had towards the government and Trump and all them last year, all that anger and hate is towards us now. These demons has is literally using every celebrity, every government, everybody. They even sent me emails last year trying to get me. They was trying to pay me to promote some shit that was like had something to do with the upcoming. They bro, when let me tell you this. Whenever you hear a rapper or a, a NBA player, a football player, a celebrity, whenever you see a celebrity that don't speak out about nothing, they, they don't know shit. They just a fucking sports player come out and tell you to get something. They getting paid for it. They getting paid. They getting paid to, to say that shit. What I'm trying to tell you is this. When you start experiencing all of this hate and anger towards these people, it's like they under mind control. I know y'all heard people saying that it's going to be a zombie apocalypse. That's what it seemed like. Like you would tell a person, how you telling me to get a shot? You got all three shots and they, now they telling you, you still could catch this Delta shit. Dude, you got fucked over. They still tell you, get it. I don't care. Get it. These motherfuckers is worse than the LGBTQ community. They canceling everybody. And the reason why I'm telling you, you're going to start to lose family and friends. If you're somebody that's not with this chip, you've been taking care of yourself. It's important for you to keep your guards up because your ego can start playing tricks on you, making you really seem like you the problem. You might really say fuck it and go against yourself and then you're going to regret it afterwards. You're going to be emailing me so I'm pissed that I did it. What I'm trying to say, you're going to start to feel guilt. This is they fear that they put in on you. You will lose family and friends and you will gain true chosen ones. Just be prepared for it. Do not let your bot ass family and your close friends get you all this. Don't do it. Keep your guards up, dude. I'm trying to tell you. I told y'all my own mom went behind my back and got it. It's like. I don't understand how it was possible for her knowing all this sh Depression can be a really tough thing to go through. Fortunately, people always have a lot of ideas. To still go and do something like that. After I hadn't told her everything, after I hadn't gave her all the information, show her the statistics, she still got it. It's something about these old heads. They are completely botted. It's something about the old heads and their connection with the news. They believe Everything they say. It don't matter what. Bro, they tell these mother, Bro, it, they believe everything the news fucking say. I'm trying to tell you. Why this world starts to get locked down. The whole picture would be painted towards us. The chosen ones. They trying to comfort us with everything that they got. This shit is over. It's over. Stand strong, keep your guards up, protect your soul. I gotta drop a video trying to tell y'all how y'all could clear your DNA if you do got this. There's some stuff out there that you could take that could clear your DNA and keep you healthy, especially if you're a kid because your blood is not contaminated that much. You actually, you bro, you actually perfectly fine. You gonna be good, but listen, put all that to the side. I want y'all to know that time is ticking. Right now, these pro is worse than the LGBTQ community, bro. They attacking anybody that say anything that don't have to do with taking. If you go in there, you type anything. I heard Summer Walker just put a post and she said, if you got the stay away from me. I don't even know why she's saying that. See me, I don't give a fuck about none of it. I don't look at nobody different. It's just consciousness with me.
I don't look. All right, y'all. I had to step outside and I got a phone call. But the last thing I want to tell y'all, no matter what you see happening, it's going to get bad before it can get good. Do not do listen. Do not let none of this shit affect you. No matter what guilt they put on you, you might start to feel lonely. You might start to feel left out. You might start to feel like it's your fault. It's not. It's all a lie. But I'm trying to tell you some shit that you probably already feeling or you starting to feel why you all online. If you start to really get affected by all the lies and stuff that all these people saying to you, take a break from social media. Take a break from the AI world. Really keep tapping in with yourself. Remember I told you, always come back to nature. Start planting food because they're not going to let you go nowhere. You're really going to start to feel lonely, dude. This new world that they got set for these people, everybody must be chipped for, in order for them to do shit. But none of it is going to last. It will pass by. Adverse effects will take place. It's inevitable. It's already happening. The truth will always be revealed. Do not let none of these bots put any guilt on you. Stay strong. Protect your soul. Spiritual soul. Signing out, bro. Shit, if you knew that you saw a damn missile be a shot from China to this side of the world and you were told that you had 72 hours to get your ass about the country or get your ass about the city otherwise your ass gonna be blown to smithereens are you gonna sit down and try to convince the folks that said I'm just gonna wait on Jesus or the folks that's gonna sit up here and argue and say that's bullshit. That ain't going to happen. What are you talking about? Or the people that says, oh, you crazy, girl. I didn't hear about that. No. You're going to say, shit, I got 72 hours. Neighbors are going to see me packing my shit up. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm looking at them like I don't give a damn. Mind your business. I'm getting my shit. I'm packing my shit up and I'm out of there. I'm not sitting up here having conversations Long ass conversations, losing energy and losing my breath, huffing and puffing, getting all emotional, wanting to be somebody ass because they can't hear what I'm saying. I'm not dragging nobody with me. Oh, you're coming with me right now. I'm just going to pull you by your hair and you I'll be goddamn. I'm not doing it. Bye. Let me know how it works out for you. See you next lifetime. Deuces. I'm out. I don't give a damn. What y'all gonna do? So Isis was talking about the uh, La Pluma and how the volcano erupted a month ago and nobody's like talking about it, nobody's preparing. The president had a meeting about it, but it's not on the news, nobody's talking about it at work, any of that. I remember I told my boss, like, what the fuck is gonna happen because the piece that's gonna fall off is the size of New York City. And it's going to send a tsunami across the east coast of the United States of America from, you know, Canada, Maine, New York on down to Florida. And it's going to come in about two to three hundred feet. And a lot of spiritualists are like, hey, y'all prepare like this storm is coming. They don't really know the timeline of when, but the eruption has been over a month. And I didn't know eruptions be that long, but damn. A month's worth of energy can blow off a piece the size of New York. That energy has been building up for a long damn time. So my sister's moving to Georgia. The spirit is telling me I need to move. But I'm trying to get everything lined up to do so. Um, try to get to high elevations towards the mountains. I, I definitely do want to go to Georgia or Texas or Mexico. My best friend's moving to Nevada um, which I know she's going to be right at home because a lot of those people are into spirituality and I know she's going to do well there but I don't know I, uh, years ago uh, someone I met through a previous lover of mine I still talk to them today and I remember she got a promotion and she left. I'm like, oh my god, she, you know.
know, she doesn't have a husband or kids or anything. She just up and left. Like, you're not nervous to leave your family? She like, no, they can fly up here. I can drive down there. And um, I'm like, oh my God, I just had so much anxiety from her story. Like, I wasn't even moving, but I just felt so much anxiety. And I don't have that anymore. Um, with me just being in the house, being by myself anyways, it's going to be the same feeling. Um, you could be right here close with everybody and and um, kind of be alone because at the end of the day, everybody still go to their individual families. So, yeah, I don't have that anxiety that I need to stay anymore. So wherever opportunity takes me, um, start doing my redo my resume if it's going to be inside the IRS, that's fine. If it's going to be outside, that's fine as well. That it's either going to be um, in Atlanta, Texas, or in Mexico. Whatever the spirit may lead me. But I know I'll be traveling a lot because my babies, I have to check on my babies. Or I have to do fun stuff with my babies. Um, which is all my nieces, nephews, and god babies, and friends, babies, and stuff like that. Because they grow up so freaking fast. Um, birthday parties and stuff like that. I have to make sure I don't miss them. But she always said, like, my husband is not here. And I get, I get that feeling now. I don't think my husband is here either. I don't think my husband is here either. But I also know that I haven't been in the circles that I need to be in. I'm not in a circle of people that do mushrooms. And I'm not in a circle of people talking about aliens and stuff. So I feel like once I get in those circles, I'll be able to find my... Oh, hey. Um... I joined the app, the 99, with uh, Billy Carson, and it's a free app that everybody can join. It's everything to do with esoteric spirituality. I recommend it. And he actually has a group on there, and it's for relationships. Now, you have to pay to get access to that one, but I'm definitely going to sign up. Hello. And I remember Brother Yusuf was going to do a relationship like link like that. And um. I thought that was a brilliant idea, like where uh, like-minded people can, you know, consciously date. I've never consciously dated, <laughs> but I haven't always been a conscious person either. So a lot of new things for me. Dang, look how big y'all, when y'all see these pictures, look how big that man and woman is compared to that man. That's why it's big buildings and stuff. It was big ass people making this big ass shit. They keep lying. They can lie to y'all. They ain't lying to me. I don't believe in my spirit. Don't believe it. And I'm gonna keep digging and learning all the truths. Cause it just seems like they just dumbing us down. Everything they do is dumbing us down, dumbing us down, dumbing us down. Like. secret societies and stuff they want to keep that information and knowledge for whoever they select and bump everybody else that's not how we all gonna rise as one by doing it that way but anyway so in this uh in, in that last clip she was saying how the volcano is gonna erupt and i remember telling y'all that i had a vision me and my family six of us was on the beach standing in a straight line and the wave was in front of us and we was like praying with our hands up pushing the wave and it didn't come, but I also woke up, so I don't know what the result was. But before that, I remember them saying, okay, be here. And the time was like 9, 9.30. When I looked at the clock, it was 9. I was like, okay, I have 30 more minutes. So it was weird because in one minute I was at the beach, and then it was like 9.30, and then I wasn't. Like, I don't know. Does that mean I'm going to be here and I'm going to leave? Does that mean I'm going to be gone when it hit? Like, I don't know. I don't really know how to interpret my visions yet but when they come i'd be like whoever i told i'd be like i told you and sometimes that shit be years ahead but it didn't come out of nowhere and this was before they was talking about the tsunami so it's not like i heard about the tsunami and dreamed about it this was before and i'm like what the fuck this big ass wave and i know i'm right because my friend she told me about a wave too 
And she was like, she was in some type of resort. Like, y'all don't see that way? She's like, well, y'all don't move. I'm going to move. And she moved. So it's like spiritual people all over are having during about this wave telling us to leave. And spiritual people are actually on podcasts and different chat groups and stuff telling people to leave. So when that shit finally do hit the fan, nobody can yell, oh my gosh, woe is me, because we all have been warned. Even this podcast right now is a warning. We've all heard our whole lives, Florida going to be underwater. Everybody's still living here, buying houses and all. And I know it's true because my family's about to be moving away from Florida and they not even on the path I'm on (laughs) so that spirit getting them away too in in the own in the own way in their very own personal journey way so yeah there's one more clip sometimes you have to cut everyone off okay so if, 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 if let me explain something to you if you're operating on a frequency up here you ain't got no business having people in your space that's operating on a frequency down here. It makes entirely no sense. Okay? It makes entirely no sense. The two energies will never mess. It's like mixing water and oil. It makes no sense. pick up on it but she can gather it being real small oh they're definitely on the phone um so 
So yeah, just examining. It starts with you first. So examine yourself, which is the mode that I'm in now. Am I doing the things that I want to do? Am I around the people that I want to be around? Am I in the career that I want to just me and start with me? And then it's going to go outwards. So I will either do things that I'm invited to based on if that's aligned where I am or I will decline things that I'm invited to based on, you know, my journey as well. So yes, it worked inward and then it goes outward. But she made a very uh, valid point. Okay. She said this Sunday. Ah, we're going to be tripping on this Sunday. <laughs> I might need to. I don't know. We should have tripped on a Saturday so we could calm down on the Sunday. But I'm excited. Um, I'm so empathic. Like, I feel. I know my trip is going to be about my feelings. I'm probably going to cry like a baby. I know I'm going to ask the universe. I want to know everything. I want to know how life started i want to know the whole history of earth up until now on some lucy type shit i want to know who i am where i come from my mission i want to know my future too so like i'm ready i don't know what all they're gonna answer but i have many questions and i'm ready for the answers like i'm open to it i'm not scared I already know it's a, a whole society on the dark side of the moon. I already know there's people that they have at like the age of seven and they let them live and do missions to 30 and then regress them back to seven and make them do it three more times. Like there's people with powers out here. There's a whole, um, like I don't know why the Chinese and Asian industry, man, they in it. He literally held his hand over paper and fire started. No magnet. He had no magnifying glass on his hand. Just straight chi energy. Like, that is an untouchable society. And I feel like that's why we haven't gone to war with China. We can't even fuck with them. They gonna, the first fleet that they're going to send is them tell them, them, uh, what do you call it? What type of fire starter? I don't know what name you would give them, but metaphysical powers. Let's just say that. And them won't be their front line um, X Men type shit. It's real they frontline men and they're gonna wipe the whole army out that's it we're over they ain't even have to call out the rest of the people and if they know how to do that you know they don't talk to a whole society how to do that it's us and um russia too russia has a whole um metaphysical department y'all look up remote viewing people can look into your home right now and see what you're doing with their mind with their third eye hello that's something I read in the book, I told y'all, and that's something that we're all supposed to be able to do, but everybody's tapping into it. And I don't, I can't see somebody else. I haven't practiced that, but like I said, if I'm driving and I'm looking at the trees, it won't take long. Those trees won't be there anymore. And I could be imagining making a smoothie, cooking, and I say imagine, but I literally see. I'm in my body sitting out in the car and I actually see me, feel me, smell me, all of that. And then, you know, a song will come on or somebody will say something and I'll snap back. And sometimes I don't even have to be in the car driving. I can just be still and I'll stare for a moment and I'm not even there no more. Like my eyes see, but I also see something else. Something else takes over with something else that I'm viewing. And I think that's how that remote view is. I just... Y'all, when I get this meditation down pat, I know that's when my journey going to change again. Because it's all about focus, concentration, control. Yeah, it's crazy. The stuff that I'm learning. And everything is yin and yang, male and female. Yep, the batteries, the plus is the female, the minus is the male. Um... If you, if you flip the, if you turn the plus, it makes an X, the X chromosome. And if you add a line to the negative, it makes a Y. Like, they, they lie about everything. My best friend told me plants are male and female. What? I didn't even know that. Um, but everything is like male and female. And we are both. We have masculine and feminine energy. So why are we telling men, don't cry, toughen up, you a boy? No, he has feminine energy in him too. And he needs to be able to, um, 
you know, tap into that. And then women, we just so masculine now. We paying all the bills, we dominating, we raising kids by ourselves. We so masculine. The female energy is so dormant in us, and the men have become so feminine. It's ridiculous. If that's what you want to do, if that's your life path, that's fine. But some people need to be dual too. You don't have to be all female, all male. Where the where's the duality? Everything. I don't know. It's just so much. But I just wanted to put this one out because it was just sitting in here, and I meant to put it out because. Those messages gonna touch somebody. I know it touched me. But um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. There's more coming. You know, sharing is caring. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a million for listening. There's a million podcasts in the world. You clicked on this one, little old this one, to hear what I have to say. I hope universe has a special message for you. You can reach me on Linktree at forward slash love dot mish. I hope you have a better than a great day. Love ya. Talk to you later. Bye. You all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. systems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is the money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you?